Hey, good folks. So we have a special treat for you for Throwback Thursday. We're not going to open up a case of uh, old cards. We still have a bunch of those. I wanted to do something a little bit different this week. Uh, something quick and easy for you guys to watch on your Thursdays. We'll go. We'll open plenty of those. I've got plenty of basketball, baseball, football, what have you. But tonight we're going to open up uh, 20 packs of the Upper Deck 1991 Quarterback Challenge cards. Uh, these were special cards that you could get, you know, obviously back in 1991, over uh, about 32 years ago. Uh, and uh, I've never opened these before. Uh, in fact, I don't remember them being available back in 1991. But I do remember Domino's wasn't uh, the most uh, favored uh, pizza chain back then. You know, they did do their delivery. They had the Noid and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, their pizzas weren't all that good, so... Seems like the world has plenty of extras. I got quite a few of these uh, off of eBay for a relatively cheap price. Uh, I'm only going to open 20 tonight. And I'll open uh, 20 more over the months or whatever. But I just wanted to do, like I said, a quick video. Open these up, check these out, and uh, share the experience with you guys. So if you guys like what you see, you can always hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like these, uh, you can always hit that subscribe button. Help the channel out. Uh, we've been seeing phenomenal growth over the past few days. I thank you guys so much for uh, supporting the channel as you can. And uh, <clears throat> let's get to it. So like I said, it's about 20 packs. So, you know, we have, you know, people like Dion and Joe Montana and Steve Young and, and all those old guys. So this is, uh, is going to be quite nostalgic for me because uh, my only experience with Upper Deck back in 1991. Golly, these things are hard to open. Uh, we're... Uh, the you know the premium box and uh, i remember opening golly those these are going to be rough to open up but we're gonna have some fun here all right so to start things off we have uh john elway i think there's like three or four cards per uh, pack so it's it's gonna go pretty quickly then we have mark rippon with the redskins then we have <laughs> we have a checklist and then lastly we have uh, Daryl LaMonica. i do not remember him looks like he's definitely more old school with that uh with that helmet that helmet looks uh, pretty tight on his head. Uh, I do not believe there's going to be any autographs, but we might luck out and get a hologram because uh, Upper Deck was really big on holograms back in the day. They uh, stamped all their cards with holograms. So uh, it would be pretty cool if we come across something like that. Oh, we have Terry Bradshaw, the old man. So it looks like we're going to do some old school. We have uh, Roger Staubach. And we're going to flip this bad boy over we have Anthony Dilweg and last Len Dawson with the Kansas City Chiefs so 1991 I think this is at the time where the Cowboys were actually playing uh, exceptionally well I think they won did they win in 91 or was it the Giants uh, it's hard to remember I do remember the Bills <laughs> We're the ones on the losing end of the Super Bowl. All right, we have Dave Krieg. Then we have... Woo! We have a slippery card. Uh, Vinny Testaverde. Then we have another checklist. And uh, Bart Starr. So, yeah, we have 30 years of... Uh, this is the first time these cards have touched fresh air. Uh, and I use that term figuratively. Or loosely, if you will. Then we have a Dolphin Duo. Looks like we have uh, Dan Reno, and I, I don't recognize the other guy. Then we have uh, Bubby Brister. Bubby. Then we have uh, Jim, don't call me Chris Everett. And then the man, Troy Aikman. That might be a good one to get that one uh, graded. I also have a few other upper deck cards. I do have some of the basketball ones where uh, you could only get them at McDonald's. I used to get quite a few of those back in the day. I scammed quite a few, but uh, I was able to buy some of those. Chris Miller with the Falcons. There we have Jess Hostetler. Oh, we have one of my faves back in the day, Steve Young. And then we have Bob Greasy. The way I watched football back then, it was uh, if it wasn't the 49ers on the TV, 
I wasn't watching. But now, with the new football season coming, and uh, having been a fan of the fantasy football game for, I think, almost 20 years now, I'm... Oh, we got Jim Everett again. John Brody. And if you guys remember the situation with uh, Jim Everett being called Chris with... Uh, Oh, golly, what, what was the, guess, <laughs> the reporter's name? It'll come to me later. But uh, uh, let me know in a comment below if you remember that. Or hit the like button. Cajun Connection. And then we have Johnny Unitas with the Colts. All right, Jeff Hostetler again, so we're definitely uh, getting into the doubles. Oh, it was so nice. He gave it to us tight twice, Jeff Hostetler. Then uh, Phil Sims with the Giants, and then Terry Bradshaw. So we're just going to try and go through these as, as quickly as possible. Unless we run into somebody we weren't expecting. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll get uh, Brett Favre. Steve Walsh. Dan Fouts. Then we have V.A. Tittle. Wow, that's old school. And then Jim Kelly. Tim Rosenbach. We haven't gotten uh, Joe Montana yet, so we can... Jeff George. Wow. Wow. I think he played for the Falcons for a little while. Sonny Jurgensen and Wade Wilson. So this was back in the day where <clears throat> NFL license wasn't exclusive to any particular brand. Everybody who uh, wanted a license could get one. Granted, this led to the Junk Wax era, but uh, we're not dealing with the craziness that we're dealing now with Panini and Fanatics and all that. Tim Rosenbach, Jeff George, Sonny Jurgensen, and Jay Schroeder. And I know I'm just a slub opening up cards in my uh, <laughs> in my man cave. Uh, but my official opinion on that is that it really needs to just open it up to the free market and let anybody uh, make cards and let the market decide. Uh, Dolphin Duo. And then, uh, you know, try not to flood the market with too many cards, but I'd prefer that. Billy Joe Tolliver and Jay Schroeder again. That's how I look at it. I, I miss the days. I would love to see uh, football with Prism. I would like to see it with Chrome. I would like to see football cosmic chrome. I would like to see upper deck back in the game. Because right now, pretty much upper deck has what? Football and Marvel? I mean, hockey. I'm sorry. Upper deck has hockey and Marvel. And uh, AEW. Alright. Joe Theismann. Rodney Pete. Dan Humphreys, and Ken O'Brien. We have about seven or eight packs left. Hopefully I'm not destroying these cards too badly. <laughs> it's just... Cowboy Gunslinger. We have Troy Aikman. I don't recognize the other guy. Then we have Warren Moon with the Oilers. Chris Miller with the Falcons. And Ronnie Pete. Still no uh, Montana. One of the greatest quarterbacks ever. And uh, Upper Deck really, really liked him. So I'm not sure why he's not on here yet. Maybe they kept him uh, pretty rare. And no holograms. I don't know if there were any. Ken O'Brien. Phil Sims, Hostetler, and Mark Rippin.
Sorry for shaking the camera. Steve Walsh. The Cajun Connection. And we have our ever lovely checklist and Daryl LaMonica. Was it is that Daryl or Yeah, Daryl, okay. The way it's spelled is very strange. Alright, five packs to go. Steve Walsh, Everett, Jay Schroeder. I'm trying to remember the, the name of that reporter. I want to say Rick Ross, but I obviously it's obviously not him. I remember as soon as the video is over. But uh, anybody who wants to remind me, please put in the comments below. <laughs> ah, Anthony Delwig. Stan Humphreys. We have Bart Starr again. And Bernie Kosar. All right. We don't have a Joe Namath either. It'd be nice to possibly see him. Warren Moon. Wade and Terry. We got Mr. Star. We got a lot of these uh, Jim Everett's here. Gracie and VA Tittle. <clears throat> We're coming down to our last pack of this 20 pack rip. It was pretty cool. I, like I said, I never opened these back in the day, so opening these for the first time is uh, quite awesome. Jim Plunkett, somebody new. Boomer. Boomer Siason. We got we got some decent guys in this one. Sonny Jurgensen and lastly Johnny Unitas. So there we go. That was what was it? 80 cards there that we pulled from the 1991 Upper Deck Dominoes Quarterback Challenge. So so I mean I like what I got. I'm surprised we didn't get a Joe Montana or anything uh, incredibly over the top. We did get a Steve Young. We got Troy Aikman. We got a lot of the the greats back in the day. I think this was a good time where back in the day where we saw things like these uh, at, you know, uh, restaurants and stores and, you know, it was just another way to, to take your money. But I, I like seeing things like this. And in fact, I have a few more things like this where, um, you know, I have McDonald's with the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, McDonald's with the New York Yankees. I have a few more packs like this and I definitely plan on opening them in the near future. <clears throat> but what did you guys think of uh, the 1991 uh, Upper Deck Dominoes Quarterback Challenge? Did you think these cards were pretty cool? Do you think they were a waste of time? Did you rip these back in 1991? Let me know. And what was the best card you pulled uh, if you ripped these back in the day? Did you rip a whole lot of them? Uh, <laughs> did, did, you, did you try to scam the stores like I did with McDonald's? <laughs> I'll tell that story uh, in a future video when I rip uh, the NBA ones. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, I wanted to keep it quick, uh, less than, you know, the whole 45 minutes of opening up the boxes. But we will go back to those uh, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, but I like doing uh, quick little things like that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you like what you saw, hit that like button. Uh, and you can always uh, leave a comment. And uh, if you really want help off the channel, you can always hit that subscribe button. Anyway, thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.